Hello. Today we're going to show you how to connect to a Teradata data source from Oracle SQL Developer and migrate that to Oracle. So the first thing that we do is that we want to actually create a connection. And we hit the plus on the Connections tab to show the connection dialog. Right now, when you come to do that first, you'll see that we don't have a Teradata tab for any connections. And the reason for that is that we need to add the drivers for Teradata to the application dialog. So let's go and do that. And from here we go to the Preferences page. We click on Database and click on Third Party JDBC Drivers. And we click on Add an Entry. So right here we go to slash Users. Um, slash Barry slash a drivers and we can see that we have two drivers here and we need both of these both the config and the JWC driver so we add those and we click OK and both of those drivers get added dynamically to the class path now when we click on add a connection again this time we have a Teradata tab and this time we're going to add the machine where the Teradata instance is and we'll give it a connection name, so we'll call it Teradata. And I'll just use the DBC connection, the standard connection in Teradata. Save that password. And I have a database here called HR, which is a standard Oracle HR uh, schema, which I've copied from Oracle to Teradata for this test. So we can test that connection, and it goes OK. And we can see now that we have a Teradata connection with all of the tables in the employees and all of those and we can look at the data that is in each of those tables which is all fine great now in order to migrate this we need to uh, create an or a repository for the migration within um, an oracle schema and i have one called barry and in order to create a repository in this user i right click on the user, go to Migration Repository and click Associate Repository, which will create the repository tables that we use to actually create the migration. Now, when we're actually doing the migration, we scrape the, uh, the metadata from the Teradata database into the repository, and we massage that data then to create the schema on the Oracle side uh, and the data move scripts as well when we're actually doing that. So when this completes, a, our migration navigator will appear on the left-hand side as well. OK, so that's now complete. We now have our migration repository, and we can see what's going for this. Any time that we click on the migration repository nodes, we get a level of reports on the right-hand side um, which shows us a lot of the information about the migration project itself. So let's go to the Teradata connection again. And we can right click on this now and click on Migrate to Oracle. And we can walk through this wizard to show us how to step through the migration. And at each point, it will ask us for bits of information about the migration. The first thing we need is a connection to Oracle for the actual repository. And in this case, we already have the repository created which is in this connection, and we can click Next. And the next thing it will ask us is for a name of the project um, that we're actually going to do. So this is our Teradata demo, demo of migrating Teradata. And the other thing that we need here is a directory where we're going to output scripts and things if those are needed. So in this case, I am going to put this into um, slash code slash demo, which is the directory I've set up for this. And I can click Next. On the next page, this is looking for where we actually want to get our information from the source database from. In this case, it's the Teradata connection that we've already set up over here. And we can click Next on that to give us a set of databases that we actually want to actually move. So in our Teradata database, 
we have quite a few of these, but the one I'm interested in for this demo is HR. And I'm going to push that all the way across into Oracle, including the data. So once we've selected the databases that we want, we can click on Next. And when we hit Next, we get a list of data types that we can actually um, translate from Teradata into Oracle. So each one of these data types can be shown to see if there's anything that we actually want to change in this in terms of where we're moving it to. And if we click Next again, this will ask us where we actually want to create the schema that is actually going to be migrated. In this case, I'm going to use the privilege connection that we already have the repository set up in. And that's where the schema will be created. So this will create a HR schema um, using this Barry connection as its source. Next, we can say where we actually want to move the data from. And in this case as well, we're going to do this online. So we're going to move the data from the Teradata connection across to the target connection um, through the Barry, the Barry connection that we've set up. Now, this target connection will be to the HR schema when it actually moves across. And finally, then we have a summary page which tells us what we're actually going to do. So in this case, we're going to capture out of the Teradata database and we're going to ca capture that HR schema. We're going to convert that with no changes to any of the, the mappings and things. We're going to generate the scripts and put all of this online and do it directly. And also, finally, then we're going to move the data online as well. So we can click Finish and wait for that to happen. So initially what happens is that we capture and scrape the information from the Teradata database and bring it into our Oracle repository. And then we actually capture that into the repository itself. Once that's done, then we start to translate that and transform the information on the, on the repository into an Oracle model. And then once that's done, we generate the new user in Oracle generate the tables, and then finally, then we'll move the data uh, from one user to the next. So as you can see here, this is generating a script. We're going to run that script, and then we're going to move the data then as, as we see here as well. So this is moving the data for us and we can see that everything has moved across nicely. Okay, so let's take a look now at our user and I have a connection here already set up for that user. And we can see here that the user is different. So what we'll do is we can go to our Oracle connection again and we can change by HR. And if we connect that, we can see if this is going to be the actual user that we're using, which it is. And we can check out the tables that we've actually moved across. Check out the employees table again. We can see that the data columns and things have come across. And we can also see then that the data has come across equally well as well. Okay, so that is migrating Teradata to Oracle in a few short steps.